यू माइड हैव चेरिस्ड जेसिका यानी स्टोरी एज इट क्लाउडेड दी सोशल स्फेयर नाउ एज द इमोशनल कन्वर्जेशन हैज डाइड डाउन लेट एस लुक एट अ फ्यू फैक्ट्स फॉर दोज अन नोन विद द एपिसोड जेसिका यानी अ ट्रांस वुमेन filed a complaint with human rights tribunal in canada against several waxing saloons for denying her brazilian waxing service yani most probably had male genitals at that time which includes penis and scrotum the saloons did deny jessica that service brazilian wax in waxing industry refers to the removal of all pubic hair and generally refers to a treatment performed on females who may want to wear thong bikinis the tribunal granted victory to saloons in the case and ordered yaniv to pay costs to some of the parties for improper conduct the case for saloons was taken by a conservative legal advocacy group justice center for constitutional freedoms cameron the litigation manager at the group said that no woman should be compelled to touch male genitalia against her will you might be surprised that why cameron only mentions male genitalia there could a woman be compelled to touch female genitalia against her will you might think it was said because it pertains to the facts of the case but he really meant that no one could be compelled to the genitalia of any other person against his or her will you would be wrong and i will explain that as we move on tribunal did hold that a person can be forced to touch and wax the genital organ which he or she customarily waxes surprisingly the tribunal also held that waxing was intimate activity which is surprising considering people who wax others are waxing complete strangers tribunal also held that a person's decision to touch a stranger's vulva does not require them to touch a stranger's penis and scrotum but i do not see how a person's decision to touch a stranger's vulva requires them to touch even another stranger's vulva but human rights tribunal thinks it's okay so this case is not about consent or about freedom of small businesses because the tribunal rejected both the grounds the only ground for the decision was that the genitalia of strangers of opposite sex are intimate which is surprising considering canada knows and accepts gays and lesbians Interestingly an online look at the arguments of the defenders of saloons tells us what is up it is about defending females against males this is a female beautician can be forced to touch other women's vulvas but not male penis people instinctively recognize the difference between the two acts and all else pertaining to differences between men and women when it comes to protection of females but surprisingly they fail to recognize that in any other circumstance for example tribunal also held that the appearance of yaniv in short hair and no makeup is a valid reason for the saloons to think of the person as a male just imagine this is a tribunal in canada would this tribunal in any other circumstance of different nature have accepted this gender stereotype excuse what however is most interesting is the attitude of canadian conservatives and the alt righters one of the defenses of yani was that the immigrants to canada must assimilate to canadian values which the tribunal presented as evidence of the person's racial animus towards immigrants the assimilation argument is a very favored argument of nationalist right in canada britain and usa and few parts of western europe interestingly this specific ruling was not challenged by the nationalist right nor was pointed out as wrong the protective instinct towards females of this right even allowed this straight precedent set up by the tribunal to go unchallenged even in the court of public opinion now you know why brexit actually occurred